Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you how to replace your JBL Charge 3 uh, battery with a lithium ion 21700. And this one is a 5000 mAh uh, battery. So the original one is a lithium polymer, which is a 6200 mAh. Um, uh, battery. So um, I initially intended to get this replacement from Lazada. Um, you can actually find more of these online, but it's actually um, uh, very expensive for my budget, especially for a five year old charge model. So you might want to ask, why did I go for a 21700 instead of 18650? lithium ion battery well there's actually a reason for that and I'm gonna explain um, later on so start off by uh, flipping over or uh, turning upside down your JBL Charge 3 and pry open this um, um, insert uh, or sleeve you can actually find two um, screws in there so just uh, unscrew that then take the cover off so to remove the uh, battery, you uh, actually have to uh, remove these uh, seven screws on the battery cover. Um, so um, again, seven screws, one, two, three, four, five, um, six, um, seven, uh, to reveal the battery pack inside. Before I ordered um, the 21700 lithium ion battery, I actually tested it first with the most common 18650 um, battery, which is this one I got from a very old um, laptop. So this one is really already used. So just to test it out, um, you know, just to check if the size fits or whatnot and if it really works. Um, so fortunately, it actually works. So um so yeah that's when i decided to get a bigger one so this one is a twin again this is the one that i uh used 21700 so it's uh, actually longer and also um a little bit wider so i didn't get the 18650 for this reason because it's really small you can actually see um uh, so it's there's a lot of room in there and that will cause some noise so this one fits perfectly well as you can see and um, so in this case um, I just have to uh, do uh, replace this one uh, see you can actually see it's longer and it's also uh, wider so the positive goes to the positive and negative goes to the negative of course um, you have to reuse um, to make sure you have to reuse the old BMS on the old um, lithium polymer battery that's really important because uh, that's where you will be tapping the positive and the negative wiring so here I'm actually I've actually already taped um, everything and make sure it's properly snugged in place so that there will be no noise when you shake the, uh, the unit so um, safety first taped everything so here I'm putting back the co battery cover now um, so, um, so you just have to put back the seven screws that we removed, um, earlier. Um, so, um, just do the reverse direction. Uh, but before doing so, of course, we have to, uh, test, uh, first and make sure that the, it actually works, right? So let's power it on. Um, here I'm powering the unit on and okay there it is it actually has two uh two lines of charge already all right guys that's it so in summary i used a 2170 lithium ion battery um, instead of the lithium polymer default battery so uh, the original one again has a 62 um, 100 mAh. This one is a 50 100, um, um, which is a little, a little less. I mean, it's not, it's not probably going to be 100% um, uh, more um, powerful uh, uh, with the charging, but this one is a little bit uh, tad lower than that. But I mean, it does its job, right? So that's all we need to 
make sure that it holds the charge and it also works so um, again guys um, to put everything back together just reverse what uh, the direction of what you did the first time i hope this has been informative please like and subscribe my videos thank you